Okay, we're continuing here with the um, common features of Microsoft Office. We're on page um, we are on page uh, 179. Uh, actually, we just flipped over to page 180. And we just got done using the Format Painter, and now I'm on Activity 1.13. Um, use the Office Clipboard to cut, copy, and paste. And at the bottom of page 180 are some useful keyboard shortcuts for quickly navigating around in Word. You should check out that list of shortcuts. Uh, one is Control Home, which will take you to the top of the document, which, ha which actually happens to be um, right up here. If I click off of it now, now it's click down here, do Control Home again. Uh, just to the left of my picture. And what I want to do is I want to go to the left of this line right here. And I want to select the entire paragraph. I can either go out here and click, or I could just go in here and triple click. And on the Home tab, what we want to do is we want to click on the Copy button. And that'll take whatever is currently selected, and it'll copy it to a place called the Clipboard. And this is the Clipboard group right here. If I click on this little dialog box launcher down here, it shows me some clipboard options. I normally don't use that, though. We're going to close that. This is still on the clipboard until I copy something else to the clipboard. And now I want to go to the end of the document. The keyboard shortcut for that is Control end the word end, not the letter N. And let's hit the Enter key once to open up a blank line down there. And what we're going to do is we're going to paste what we just copied to the clipboard. So we've got a copy of it down there. And whenever you copy and paste, you'll get this little button that shows up here. And it gives you some options. And if you pause the mouse over these options, it'll give you a live preview. Uh, merge formatting, I'll have it take the formatting of what's around it. Um, and this one just keeps the text without any special formatting. Uh, if you want to keep the formatting, which we do in this case, uh, click on the first button here. Uh, actually, since it did that by fault, uh, in this case, we wouldn't have to do that. Okay, uh, do a control home. I'm going to go back to the top of the document again. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the image here and click on it. And we're going to cut it out. And notice the keyboard shortcut for cut is control X. And when you cut it, it disappears and goes to the clipboard. And then we're going to go down here to the end of our document and we're going to paste it in. And now it didn't remember to center it. So I'm going to have to go up here and do my center command. Or I'm going to do the keyboard shortcut this time and just type Control E. And now the picture is centered down at the document, at the bottom of the document. OK, I'm going to do a Control Home to go back to the top of the document. And um, I am now on page 183 number 14 and what we're supposed to type in here for the rest of this is Tuesday cheese tastings and now we're going to do control home we're on activity 1.14 and um, we want to take this text we're going to delete that empty paragraph at the top now where the picture used to be and we take this text here and we're going to select it and then we just replace the word uh, with the word memo. Okay, now uh, it says to click on the backstage or to display the backstage view. The way to display the backstage view, it doesn't tell you there, is by clicking on the file tab up here. And this is what's called the backstage view. And it wants us to click on properties over here and we want to show the document panel. And that gives us a way to attach a little bit of extra information to our document that's not actually part of the document. Uh, like your name and you can put in a title, you can put in a subject, you can put in uh, keywords. The keywords that wants us to put in are cheese, tastings. Okay. And then we're going to close that by clicking on the X over here in the upper right hand corner. Uh, another thing we can do from here in on the file tab is we can do a print and a 
print preview. It automatically does a print preview for us before we try to print something. And all you have to do here is click on the print button. Make sure you select the printer that you want first. And then click on the print button. I'm not going to print right now, so we're just going to click back on the Home tab. Okay. Uh, the last thing is using the help system which I don't think is very useful in in Word. Um, most of the time it's easier for me to go out to uh, Google and type in whatever it is that I'm looking for. Uh, the example they have here is display numbers as currency. Um, if I were to go out to my um, Google tab here and open up a new window and type in um, Word 2010 with quotation marks around it and then display numbers as currency I get some options here and these options are probably going to be just about as useful as anything that you'll find in uh, Word Help. So let's go back over to Word now. And the last thing you talk about is compressing your files. We've already talked about it in class, so I won't put that in this video. And that is the end of Project 1B, so we'll stop there.